I'm Caleb Dennison, and this is DT Daily. Coming up, a look at Apple's iOS for the car, Peyton Manning already won his second Super Bowl, and how to build with a virtually unlimited supply of Legos. In the automotive world, design is everything. But when it comes to infotainment systems, well, let's just say car makers are hit and miss. Apple, on the other hand, usually nails it. So, expectations were high last year when it announced iOS for the car. And now, we're finally getting to see it in action. This video, shared by developer Stephen Troughton-Smith, shows car-based features like Apple Maps running quickly and seamlessly on a simulator. It's also rumored to be primarily voice controlled with support for touchscreen and mechanical controls. Now, why is it only running in a simulator? Well, even though Apple listed off a dozen car makers that will eventually support iOS in the car, none of them are hinting at when we could see it built into an actual car. We hope it's soon. The experts in Vegas predict a close game this weekend between the Denver Broncos and Seattle Seahawks, with Denver being a slim two-point favorite. Madden NFL 25, on the other hand, predicts the best Super Bowl of all time. We pick it up in a snowy second quarter. Seattle's defense has Denver locked down as media darling Richard Sherman turns a Manning pass into six points, giving Seattle momentum going into halftime. In the second half, Denver rallies to a two-score lead, but fails to close it out. That's when beast mode takes over, setting Seattle up for a two-point conversion that sends the game into overtime. In the OT, Manning quiets all his critics, leading his team down the field for a game-winning field goal and his second Super Bowl title. Wow, I hope the real game is as good as that one. Just about all of us played with Legos when we were kids, and I'm guessing more than a few of you out there still do on occasion, you know, with the kids. Google's new Build with Chrome site lets you once again play with the interlocking building blocks in a 3D virtual environment. You can build your creations with more bricks than you'll know what to do with, but in our brief testing, we did discover a height limit. So, a replica of the Burj Khalifa is out. But there's a Build Academy for you to hone your legoing skills, and you can also share your creations with others. The site is a Chrome experiment designed to show off the boundaries of what's possible on the web. It's also a collaboration with The Lego Movie, coming to theaters next month. See what they did there? Anyway, prepare to waste a whole bunch of time starting now. And that's DT Daily for today. We'll see you tomorrow.